Yo, what? Bro. What? 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 Why are you so What's late? What's going on? Excuse me, excuse me. What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here. Today, I'm going to teach you guys not three, but four arm exercises you need to be doing to get your arms bigger. Like four specific arm exercises. And I'll explain a little bit about each one in detail when we go in the gym. Bro. What was your question? No, it's not a question. It, you said one o'clock filming. I've been waiting here for literally eight hours. Kevin, I'm going to let you finish. But we need to go teach them how to get bigger arms. Yeah, but okay. So it's whatever you're talking now, you said it's one o'clock. Look, look, it's fucking dark. Like the sky is black. Here. I ran here. I, I'm taking a page from your book. That's not my car. You drove the car here. I ran here. I'm doing cardio. I did cardio. I did CrossFit all the way down here. It was a timed run for. Bro, this is not cool. Listen, man. If this keeps happening, I don't know. <laughs> how many hours late though? Not that bad. Eight hours. Yeah, well, it's like, what, was I gonna run the whole way here without stopping? I had to like stop and like eat. And drink food and stuff. I'm like, a, it's like I'm really gonna run here and not. What are you? Let's hit arms, man. Let's do this. You just so. Oh my god, whatever. All right. <laughs> bro, you gonna sneak in again? I always sneak in, dude. I know. Nah, I got a black card. What's a black card, bro? That means uh, they I can get in anywhere. Anywhere, like not Disneyland? just gym. Any Disneyland? Yo, let's use Starbucks. It. Anywhere. Hey, swag. Anywhere. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Yeah. What? We're about to film our arm. I told him already. Talking talk shit? Well, no, he's here now. It's almost up. Say what's up. Yo, this is Matt Brad right here. Hey, Swollen what's up? motherfucker here. Oh, hey, Whoa. that's what's Brad good. Brad yes. You already know. You already know. Hell yeah. We ran, I didn't plan him. I'll pay you later, bro. <laughs> I didn't plan him in here. Hey, dude. Right, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to record too, bro. What are you going to record? Chest. Chest? Chest? We're going to record. Oh, Four exercises you need to be doing to get bigger arms. Yeah. So two bicep, two tricep, two tricep. Should I do that? Because yeah. I need extra tricep. So like I said two, but I really should probably do three. But anyways, let me do the shit. Sick, bro. Yeah, man. Go kill it, bro. Thank you, bro. Am I making a picture for this Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm not here with Bradley Martin, man. What hey, the fuck is good? good? Yo, it's not even 2017 yet, but I feel like I'm ready for 2017. Yeah, we're let's do it. Let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Wait, wait, we missed it. We can't. We missed it oh, on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, sorry, uh, thanks, man. All right, tell me, tell me your name. Tell me your name. Yeah, what's up, man? I'm Daniel from NorCal. Well, we out here, man. We appreciate you, bro. Thanks, for man. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. All right, let's actually do this now. Stop slacking, bro. We're slacking. Barbell curls are the best, bro. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys real quick. So, the reason why I think barbell curls are essential to getting bigger arms is not only because it feels amazing, but you can more than likely, out of any of your other bicep exercises, you're gonna be able to lift the most amount of weight with this movement. So, just point blank, just like, for example, why I would never take a, uh, you know, for most people, why I wouldn't take a bench press or a squat or a deadlift out of your routine is because you're more than likely going to be able to handle the most weight and put the most resistance on the muscle in those movements. This for arms is going to be one of those things you're going to be able to add the most tension to your biceps um, for the movement. Okay, so that's kind of like the principle behind this. Also, because it's a really good exercise to help, and for me, is an issue of mine, create stabil stabilization in your upper back. So. Not only are you just like getting bigger arms, you're also helping you, helping you, helping us, the team. No, but seriously, your, your upper back is getting more stable as well. For me, I, I noticed right away because I have the issue with my shoulder that I've always bitched about and moaned about. Like I can feel those muscles working harder. Like I can feel them get a little bit, almost like if you had an injury, you'd be able to relate to this. Like they're kind of sore, but they're kind of trying to work. So like getting those muscles to be more, uh, Alive, I guess you could say. So this is an essential movement to get bigger arms. So definitely don't fucking kick it out. I know, Kevin. You, you. Uh, Do you have to curl the squat uh, rack though? Well, in the squat rack, it's you know if you can't curl more than I think 135, then no. Then you oh. stand directly outside of it. Then again, too, if there's no one, because I told them this before, it's 2016, about to be 2017. <clears throat> it's a new day and age, but you can unless this goes for my gym is too when my gym is open. 
Uh, unless someone like wants to actually squat. So but there's nobody in there, obviously. Yeah. There's no one in there you can squat. I mean, you could you can curl. Do it. even oh, if you do the fucking the bar. Who cares? Like no one's there. But if someone comes up, like I swear, if someone came up and was like, "Yo, I want to squat. Can you stop being a dickhead?" I'd be like, "Absolutely. Yeah. I'll go be a dickhead over there with that barbell." Yeah. You know. So, anyways, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is like why this is essential. Stability of the back. Um, stability of your back. Sorry, I feel like I mumbled that. And you could load your biceps with the most amount of weight in this movement because let's be frank, this is one of the easiest exercises that you can you can use a little bit of hip drive if you need it to, right? I'm not saying go ahead and every time you do it, use your hips, but as you get to the end, you can start to like use your hips a little bit and get the momentum moving so you can move even more weight. Understand that like that's that's creating a whole nother set of complications. Like you don't want I know a lot of people, I know fucking Rich was telling me how he tore his bicep. Huh. From doing that because he had a arm blaster on oh yeah he had an arm blaster on he was doing it and he was kind of swinging yeah and it's so stiff so if it's just too oh, much it just kind of went uh, pop right oh, so uh -huh. yeah crazy so understand it like i'm not saying go out here and like cheat a bunch of reps but the reason being is that you can load the bicep with the most amount of weight in this position um and you could cheat a little bit of the reps like, towards the end if you need to but be mindful like i don't want you to pop your fucking bicep so this is number one central um yeah i do the squat rack because no one else is using this today um, and if they were, I would get out of it, you know? Simple gym etiquette, just basic shit. Uh, but yeah, that's it. But you don't, do you ever hit arms anymore? Uh, every day, bro. Every day. You're the one that doesn't hit them every day. Well, I just recently, because of my fucking shoulder. True. Yeah. But, you know. Alright, do your next step, bro. Huh? Uh, huh? I just realized. Why are we filming arms again? What do you mean? Like, got a, those, those arms. Like, what about legs? No. What, what about legs? Let, bro, like, are we gonna ever do that? Realize them? on YouTube, the internet cares about two things. Okay. Okay. Three, well, three, four, three, four things. Okay. One of them is getting bigger arms. Okay. The other one is getting bigger shoulders. Okay. The other one is getting bigger chest. Okay. And girls. And girls. Okay. So, why the fuck would I feel myself any legs? No one cares about that. Well, what if what if I give you a challenge? Why well, don't I never? I mean, look. I've never been one to back down from a challenge. I know, like, where you, you know, in the in the box, the drop, the box, the cross the box, they back down from challenges often. Uh, but I don't. So, yeah. What's your shitty challenge, bro? We're gonna do a hundred, hundred, uh, hundred wall balls. No. And push press. A hundred reps. Of what? Of eating a hundred nuggets, a hundred chicken nuggets from McDonald's. Cause I know you don't like those. I fucking hate McDonald's. A hundred of those, and then you gotta do a hundred reps at 315, and then you gotta do like, you gotta eat it while you work out. A hundred nuggets. You think that's reasonable, or is it 50? I don't even know if I could eat hundred nuggets. Like if I just wanted to, I don't think I could do it. All right, then 50 nuggets then. 50 nuggets and a hundred reps at 315. Okay, but the question is like, normally when you bet somebody, you challenge somebody. There's like a, what do I win? You win uh, a great video. Yeah, but, huh. Oh, that's like how we're gonna get them to watch. Yeah, bro. So you're telling me, okay. All right, okay, okay, fine. Let's, fuck it, let's do it. So, okay, what you're saying is, if I can do, like what? 100 reps. 100 reps with what? How much weight? 315. Ooh, 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 so you'll do, you'll do 10 shit. reps, right? Yeah, and, and eat five nuggets. nuggets. Oh. And then 10 reps and eat five nuggets. Ten. Or whatever nuggets, yeah. Damn, that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of reps. 100 reps to 315 without the shitty nuggets is already a lot. Yeah, so you probably throw Fine, we'll do it. But, like, what's the incentive? Uh, cause I, honestly, I just want to see you do it. I don't want to do it, but I just want to see you do it. There's no, I don't know. It's just, it seems like a good idea to me. Fuck it, let's do it. So, okay, fine. Just so we, okay. We're posting this. When are we posting this? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. Okay. If this video then gets 20,000 likes, that's really easy for yeah. you guys. Because the motherfuckers will be like... 60,000 when I ask you, but 20,000 likes, what, in like this day? In this day, yeah. Since this video? Okay. If it gets 20,000 likes? It'll I'll, happen. I'll, yeah. It'll happen. I don't fucking like those nuggets though, bro. You have to. It's gotta be McDonald's? It can't be like, nope, the Burger King chicken nuggets? Ah. There's more McDonald's in the world, bro. More people know about McDonald's. Yeah, though. bro. Alright, fine. 20,000 likes in a day? Well, since this video is posted, so it's like. Whatever time it is. Whatever time it is. Before the next day, then we'll do it. Wow. If not, uh, I might just squat it. Squat anyways and not film it. But I fucking hate those nuggets. 
Or you're gonna eat this nugget? So we gotta go film us getting the nuggets and all that shit. Yeah. All right, so if you guys want to see that video, give this video 20,000 well, thumbs up. I want to see the video, so. I want to, I mean, low-key, I want to I wanna see this video. All right, so let's make big accounts and like it. I mean, I already have, that's why I get most of my likes. Oh, it's not like a shit. new thing. You're not supposed to tell them that. Yeah, but like, who cares? That's weird. Right, Everyone's doing it. Yeah. Okay, so next exercise, guys. Um, the hammer curl. I honestly believe this is one of the most underrated bicep builders uh, in the game. And a buddy of mine said the same thing too. His name's Justin. Because um, I think so many people get so used to doing, you just, what, what I just did, right? Everyone gets so used to doing everything is like this. Everything is like supinated stuff. So supinated means like supination of like your, I'm assuming it's this right here. Anyways, I don't talk, I don't get too much into it. Also, I need a tan. Supination, like you can just always picture like a suit, like you're holding your hand up. That's supination, right? So most people do this when they go into the gym. Um, but you're, you're going to hit your bicep differently like this so this is a neutral grip this is a hammer grip and at the same time this is what's gonna build my Phil Heath you see the Phil Heath thing I got going on here don't show too much don't, like kind of just not so too much but the Phil Heath the Phil Heath thing I got going on here the big the big brachialis and like the, the split right here that you the that's, forearm that's, too, that's bro. huge right it's gonna help build that so I, obviously I know mine's not as big as Phil Heath but like I know he does that shit yeah. because he told me that to my face like I talked about it when we were in uh, the UK yeah he was like fucking bang that bitch out like, but not like bang that bitch out like bang that girl out just like the bicep the brachialis Dang, so, so, the bitches this is this is the this one is the bitches this one is the uh, I got nothing I don't have any, my jokes are bad today. but the point is this I believe is super underrated. I think don't people don't do them enough because it doesn't look as cool. I, I really believe it. Like it doesn't. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Well, so I'm gonna do single arm. I'm gonna do single arm. So I'm gonna make sure I get like 10 reps here, rest 10 reps here, and I'm gonna do a seated because I don't want to use any momentum at all. We already did that a little bit with the, um, the barbell, the heavy barbell. True. So this is like straight up like no True. gimmicks, you know. No strings attached. No, well, I mean. There's some strings, bro. Make sure you get a really good angle, though. Oh, like right the there, bro? Angle. Yeah, the oh, angle. Oh, like right here? Yep. Is that too low? That might be good. Oh, yeah? Maybe just get a little closer. A little closer? Yeah. Like, like this? Is this yeah. good? Yeah, there you go. And that's a good view? And just, just video shot Phil Heath there. And we're good. Why do they call that hammer curl? Like, are, because, you, are because, you hammering something right now? Well, I'll, I'll tell you right now. Tell me. Well, when I'm done. Um, okay, so, I mean, it's called a hammer curl because the guy who invented it was a uh, blacksmith. Seriously? No. Oh, I know why. Because you're going like this. No, the guy who invented it was, his name was, uh, Phil Hammer. And he invented the hammer curl. Wow. You're so creative, bro. I'm a creative director. Wow. You're not. <laughs> you're not. Um, no, it's a hammer curl because you're going like this, right? Because the grip is like this. You mean what? And you're going like this. Yeah? Yeah, like... Is that what you do? This is when you do the hammer curl like this. Oh, that's kind of weird, bro. This is just a really short range of motion. Anyways, look, what I'm thinking about, <laughs> what I'm thinking about while I'm doing this, I want to show them my hand. So show them my hand. Okay. All right. Well, I'll put it up here. It's easier. Okay. Okay. I'm holding it at the top of the weight. So a lot of you guys might be in the gym. You might be like here. Ah. Right. It's, it makes it a little bit more difficult because your 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 wrist. If you're here, if the weight's heavy, your wrist is gonna start doing this. Yeah. And it's gonna start hurting more in your wrist than like where you want it to, right? Your bi your biceps, your brachialis. So put your hand to the very top of the weight. You see this here? Show them, get close. The very top of the weight. Right? They so when you're that. so when you're curling, you're pressing up against that. Yeah. Right? Instead of like trying to like keep it in the middle and balance it up. So yeah, that's like one of like one of my favorite buys of exercise. Great tip, bro. No, that's serious shit, man. These are actually, I'm not playing about the, I know a lot, I joke a lot, but this is a serious tip. Like, it really does help. No. With a lot of stuff when you do barbell work or any kind serious. of, keep your hands like to the to the ends. Like, even when I do like <clears throat> these things. Anyways, that's a whole nother video about life. But next exercise. We're gonna do that side. Yeah, but we're not gonna side. film that. For sure not okay, I'm not gonna film it. Definitely not. Don't worry, dude. We never do. If in case you guys haven't noticed, we never film that side. Because I'm still fixing that side. This is like my work in progress. Next exercise though, what is it? Like that. Like what, bro? Right there. Yeah, but you need weight. I'm warming up, dog. Yeah? Yeah, you ever heard of it? That's what professionals do. That's how they don't get injured. Alright, so next exercise is going to be the overhead seated tricep extension with a dumbbell. And again, like I told you earlier, the reason why I love it, right? And I want you guys to understand too, I don't believe that in order to get big muscles you have to lift heavy all the time because I don't believe that. I truly don't. I, I believe that you need variation. But this is another thing that I've learned that I'm able to move a lot of weight on my triceps 
in like a safe manner. So I'm like, why not just keep doing it? It feels good, my shoulders feel good. Um, so I do it and I think this is wonderful for not just adding like a ton of weight to the triceps, but also like, for me it seems like it helps me get girls. Just, you know, just call it what it you is. Think so? Yeah, right. because when, you, cause when you're in it, you look, it's like an alpha position, you know? You're saying if you do it right now, girls are gonna come right here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, show me. All right. What are you doing? You gotta find the right way to, to draw them, to lure them in. This is about, this is the, this is a tip too. We're gonna talk about how to get girls. This is, you gotta find the right, the right amount What's of weight. What's the right weight? Oh, it's anywhere between, for me, it's anywhere between 95 and like 130. So I'm gonna go with 95. 95 right there. And then I'm gonna bro. teach you guys the magic trick. All right. All right? I'm wondering, bro. I've never heard this shit. This is news to you, Kev. It is definitely news to me. Yeah, re -rack, re rack your weight, sir. Yeah, okay, hold on a second. That's important. Yep. Okay, so. So this is where the magic comes into play, guys. All right, guys, let me see this shit. Where are you going? I'm gonna, what do you mean? Where are you going? I told you, this is the girl. The girls come when they see this. No, but you gotta do the tricep thing. Yeah, I know, just, I'll be right back. I think we need more weight. Yeah, we need more weight. Thank you. Told you. Uh, Told you. Why are you talking to me, bro? Huh? What do you mean? You just, I think I just broke my finger. Did you really? Yep. You heard that bad? Yep. Really? Yep. Are you joking? Not joking. Doing what? Uh, smash between that and that. Why do you always smash? Why do you, you always hurt yourself? <sighs> oh, fuck, I'm not even kidding. Oh shit! Oh, it's getting worse. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Fuck! Oh wow! Right here? Right there? I really can't. Yo, I'm not playing. You broke your hand? Oh, I fucked my hand up bad, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be big as fuck. What are you doing, bro? Oh, it's fucking numb. What is going on with my life? Why did you do that? Fuck! It was all for a joke. I, t I went over there and told the girls, like, come over here and spot me because I said the girl was going to be in the video. Damn, it's joke's on you, bro. This is not funny, though. <laughs> what are you laughing? Because I'm I, like, I feel like to make the best of this moment. Oh, that's, yeah, let's, wait, wait, where did you smash it? Here. Yeah, oh, yeah. You think you broke it, for real? If you I can move it, if I can move it, I didn't break it. No, because I, I broke my shit, and I could move it for three weeks, and I went to the doctors. They were like, it's broken. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. Ah. Uh... I think you can't even tell. Ooh, shit, that hurts. Oh, look, some little skin. What are you doing, though? Like, why do you... No, it's just because I dropped it and it bounced off the thing. Yeah, man. but you do this a lot. <sighs> Fuck, I used to drop shit on my toe. Yo, it is actually numb, though, bro. Yeah? Yeah, like, I actually kind of worried. Fuck. Like, it's actually, this shit is numb. Like, my finger is you numb. You like this? Oh, you're good. But it's numb, though. Yeah, but you'll get it, you'll get the feeling back. Ooh, but it's like, it de this is like, bro, I, I, I know guys on YouTube right now, like I'm not playing. This is numb. This is numb. I can't, I, look, touch my finger. It's numb. That's kind of scary, bro. Fuck it, let's keep going. I'm actually not playing. All right, well, you need to do the other, the last exercise, right? Yeah, but like, should I go to the doctor? Right now? I mean, what are they gonna do? Like, yeah, you fucked your finger up. Yeah. Dumb meathead. Yeah, pretty much. Fuck. All right, dude. Next exercise. Come on. Fucking hell. Uh, my finger is really numb, though. This is bothering me. Okay. Next exercise, guys. Uh, is don't smash your finger on the dumbbells. No, but next exercise is JM press. I don't even know if I can do it. Let's try it. Fuck it. All right, guys. So, this next exercise is by far one of my favorite exercises for building. Tricep mass, but also to work on your bench press lockout. And, I, and I, this is this is a powerlifting. Like this is typically a powerlifting movement. Um, but I'm telling you, like you guys have done variations of this in the gym before. Like you know when people do burnouts of triceps and they they do this like skull crusher and then they go like this until as many as they can. Yep. Right. The burnout. Right. This is like kind of similar using the same idea because you're basically going from a harder movement to an easier movement. 
All right? So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. So you can load, basically load more of the muscle up, like with a heavier weight through this motion, like uh, eccentrically, lowering, right? You're gonna lower, I'll show you, right? But I'm gonna explain it real quick. You can lower more weight, then you can press up, right? Sure. In all movements. Yeah. So in this one, you're lowering the weight down, yeah. right? And then you're you're using the, your advantage because you're on a bench, you're gonna rotate and then press up. And yeah. then go back down again. So I'm gonna show you what that is. It's called a JM press, it's a powerlifting movement. It's dope as fuck, it's gonna get you stronger. BM? No, JM, I, damn, I wish I... BM press? I feel bad because I don't know the guy's name, JM. But I know it's a, it's a, it's a powerlifting movement. So, I mean, I, I'm not gonna call it BM press because like I got respect for you know, yeah. I have respect for the power lifters, man. Um, this shit will get your triceps bigger and it will get your bench stronger. I guarantee it. I think it's one of my favorite exercises, hands down. Is he calling me? Everyone's always calling me. It's, it's the president this time, bro. Barack? Yeah, he want to talk about the beef, the beef me and Drake had. Or is it Trump? Oh, it's the real president, bro. Not now, not the president now, the president now, because Trump's not president until like January like true, 7th or something. True, true. So. All right. Fuck. You okay? Can you do it? Yeah, fuck it, dude. Keep it in your palms. Yeah. You can, there's a couple different variations of it. This is one of them. The other one is like, I'll show it to you real quick, but use this one, it's gonna be easier to get. The other one is without rotating forward, you kind of press here. So there's two variations. I think this one is a true GM press, but the other one is the one I want you guys to try because it's easier. Basically a skull crusher, and then you transition it to like a close grip bench. Just to like simplify it in your guys' minds. But this is another variation of it. It's like a... It's like a really hard... Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Are you tripping? Yeah, I was like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> it's like a really hard skull crusher. It's like a hybrid. Yeah. Because you're not coming back down here to press out. You just come out to your chin. Weird. That looks really uncomfortable. It is, but on your triceps in the right spots. Yeah. Like you feel it like right here. Oh, yeah. Right with that lockout muscle. And a really strong powerlifter told me that, so I know it's true. Hell yeah. He actually benches the most like ever. Or did at one point. I don't know if he's doing it now. Um, Vanilla Gorilla, Eric Spoto. He showed me that. Yeah. Well, he, I mean, he didn't show me that. We did it together, and he told me all about it. And his, his triceps are literally like Huge. this big. Yeah. Like this, and then this. But he bets like, you know, six, seven, or something like that. Wow. I don't know the exact numbers. I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry, but I just know he's strong as fuck on the bench, and I'll take his advice. And this shit's amazing. The pump is good. You don't need to do the weight that I'm doing. Do what you're comfortable with, but make sure you challenge yourself. That's the last one. Is there any more? No, bro. That's it. That's I'm it. gonna go to the ER. Yeah. I'll see you at home. Huh? You're gonna Uber home? I'm gonna just drive to the ER. No, bro, I need a ride. You're good? We're good. I'll see you at home. But, but. So you, by the way, you owe me like, uh, you missed the past four sandwiches. So, you're gonna have to interest, Well, I interest. got an idea. Tomorrow, okay. uh, if they get the likes, then I'll give you some chicken nuggets. Nah, bro. Straight deal? Hell no. All right, cool deal. Some sandwiches. All right, deal, Sandwiches. Bro. Deal. Sandwiches. Shake on it. Shake on it, bro, my finger's down. I gotta uh, go to the yard. Right, we, we gotta go to get sandwiches, too. Yeah. All right.